Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's the Beast Pokeballer here as always guys and welcome to an Amiibo unboxing on the channel. It's been a while since we've done one of these. I think the last one we did was Peach and Zelda, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, I thought I'd do another one. So I got two Pokemon Amiibos, uh, both of which I'm really excited to open. On the right over here, as you can see, we have Mewtwo. And on the left, as you can see, we have Greninja. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to go through each one of them. Greninja first, then Mewtwo. We're going to unbox them, take a look. Take a close up look and look at some gameplay. Um, but I, I just want to warn you guys real quick. I'm sorry that the background is super plain. I plan on getting like a little poster thing for the background so it looks a little bit more exciting for the next unboxing video. But I do not have that at the moment. So without further ado, let's jump into the unboxing and review. Uh, like I said, we're going to start with Greninja. So here we go, guys. Alrighty, as you can see. Uh, it comes in the, you know, the normal amiibo box and like the rest, it has this stuff on the back. If you'd like to read, you guys can go ahead and do that. Um, but I look in and it looks really nice. I'm really excited to open it. This one was a little bit more expensive. This one was $24. Um, and the Mewtwo one was uh, $12.99. So I did pay a little bit more, but I wanted to open two Pokemon and I wasn't going to settle opening another Pikachu. And Greninja was basically the second cheapest one. Uh, Charizard was a little bit cheaper. Uh, but Greninja was cooler, I thought, so I decided to go with it. So I don't really care about saving the box or anything, so I'm just going to open this up kind of gently on the back here. Take it out. Go ahead. Put the cardboard dingy on the floor. And let's go ahead and pull out the actual Amiibo. Now it looks super cool. Uh, I'm super excited, like I said, to get this one. So let's go ahead, take off this plastic and whatnot. Slide out this baby and uh, set it down real quick as I dispose of the plastic. And let's look at it up close real quick. It looks super cool. I really like it. Let's get focused. Nice, nice. Looking good, looking good. Yeah, I really, really like all the details it has on it. Uh, the colors are kind of, I don't know, they look kind of fadey. But I don't know. I Again, I really like it. I really like Greninja as a Pokemon. It's definitely my top 10 favorite Pokemon uh, solely because of the design, even though it's also really good in competitive battling. Uh, but yeah, it looks really cool. So, you know, has the Amiibo thing, the Smash Bros. logo down here. And yeah, it looks really cool. They have a lot of the cool details on it. I like it. And it has the uh, little transparent supporters, um, I guess, so it doesn't break. Because uh, they need to have support so it doesn't get messed up. So yeah, so that's really cool. Let's go ahead and uh, open up the Mewtwo one and then we'll hop into some gameplay. So out of the Mewtwo and the Greninja one, as I said before, I believe, uh, I'm definitely more excited for the Mewtwo one. It just looks so fantastic. Mewtwo, definitely not the greatest fighter in Smash Bros. Um, but he was the first DLC announcement for Smash 4, so let's go ahead and rip open the box real quick. Also, I apologize for my chubby hands. <laughs> oh, this one didn't open up as good on the back, which we'll pop through. Rip it out. Slide this down. Get it out. Put that on the floor. And lastly, just open this. Kind of gently, but not really. And oh my god, it's so cool. Look how cool this is, guys. This is freaking Mewtwo. Look how awesome that is. You know, it. I mean, there's not much to say about it because, you know, it's just a figure that doesn't really move, but I, it just looks so awesome. I love it. I love this one, probably my favorite amiibo that I have at the moment. Uh, it also has a transparent supporter on the bottom to support its big flipping tail. Uh, yeah, I really like it, it's in this really cool like menacing pose like, boy I'm about to get you. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really cool, I like it a lot. Um, again, Smash Bros logo, and yeah. So uh, with that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and hop into some gameplay real quick on the Wii U. So now what you're going to want to do to use your amiibo is to first go into the amiibo section, scan the amiibo, pick the color out that you want, give it a nickname that you want to give it, and then give it any equipment or moves or whatever you want to do, um, and then back out and save the amiibo. Now guys, here's just a little battle between my Mario and these two amiibos. I hope you all enjoy it. Um, and yeah, it's just sped through a little bit.
it, everybody. I appreciate you so much for tuning into this video, guys. Remember to leave a like and comment on what amiibos you like me to get next. You know, I might do some more, I might not. These can be kind of pricey, and I don't really use them otherwise, uh, uh, other than for collecting. So, but definitely new TCG videos coming soon, guys. Super excited for that. Um, and yeah, out of all these amiibos that I have, guys, which one's your favorite? Let me know. Uh, I know this is a little bit of a weirder video. I know not a lot of people are going to be watching it, but I did want to do it, and I'm glad I did. So, yeah. That's going to be the video, guys. Beast Pokeballer out, guys. Peace out, and see ya.